Hey everybody, Stuart here, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to set up a lead generation for Messenger ads correctly. This is super important if you are wanting to get more Facebook direct leads for your business. And we wanna make sure that it's done in a way that we're gonna get it approved by Facebook or Meta, no matter what. Just before we get started though, remember, if you are looking for help for Facebook and Instagram marketing, don't forget, you can write to info at stuartmcadam.com with your YouTube video tutorial requests. And with that out the way, let's go into the Facebook ad manager and show you how to set up the Messenger lead ad campaign correctly. So here we are in the Facebook ads manager. And the first thing we need to do is click on the green create campaign button. We want to select leads and we want to press continue. The best option here is to choose the manual setup and hit continue. This is then going to take us into the Messenger lead setup campaign and we want to go into the ad group level so that we can select the location in which a conversion is going. You can see it's defaulted to instant forms. Sometimes it may default to website. We want to select Messenger so that people are receiving the messages. We then want to scroll down and make sure that we have accepted the terms for Meta's lead ads terms and conditions. Select it if you haven't, accept it, and then we can move on to the next section, which is setting up the budget and schedule audience. We can just leave that as it is for now. And we can also have a look at the placements, the brand safety and suitability. None of that is of too much concern for the time being. Let's go into the ad section itself. We want to make sure we've selected the correct Facebook page and Instagram account. Let's do that right now to make sure that is correctly set up. After that, we want to select a more suitable image creative so that we are using the best possible image that's going to catch our target market's attention. So we have done all that. Let's select done. And once we have pressed done, you can see that the Advantage Plus Creative is partially optimized. Let's edit that to remove all of the Advantage Plus Creatives so that we have more control over our campaign and set it up the way we want it to run. Now, the next thing is we've got to just add some primary text and <clears throat> I'm just going to select some previous text that I have used before for headlines and also the primary text too. And you can see now that it has been set up correctly. This is then going to bring us to the next section, which is the message template. And if we go into the existing one, I will show you some of the important things to look out for when you are creating the template. First one is the welcome message. This is what people are going to see when they click on the send message button or whatever your call to action button is. And you wanna make sure that it's engaging enough for people to start answering your questions. Next thing, with the actual questions themselves, you want to make sure that you are qualifying people in a fair and equitable way. So, in this example, I've asked, are you interested in our products or services? Yes, which takes them to the next question. Not now, which disqualifies them. You can see underneath that, there is an accept other answers option. I'll give you a bit more information about that later on. Next thing we have is what town or city do you live in? And you can see here, I have selected something called answer validation. And if you click on the more information button, you can see that it is an answer that is required to be answered in order for someone to get to the next question. And you wanna make sure when giving answer validation questions, the allow to skip button has been unchecked because if you have answer validation and allow to skip both selected, it may confuse the messenger campaign logic because it's saying, you are allowing both things to happen at the same time. Someone has to answer the question, but they can always skip it. The next one is, what is your phone number? We have selected answer validation for that as well. But let's say in this example, we don't mind if the person skips this particular question. 
Finally, we've got the email address and we've got the answer validation, that's a requirement. And then we've got some custom questions, which allows us to create <clears throat> a bit more familiarity with what sort of services the person is interested in. And we've got basic, intermediate, advanced, and we've got all of these which take them to the next question. If we select these though, you can always select someone um, can go to the finish of it and qualify if they select a particular answer. And let's say in this example, it disqualifies them. And for the intermediate one, it takes them to the next question. Anything else you wish to tell us, yes or no? And both of these take them to completion. And this example here, it would be suitable to accept other types of answers as well because you're asking people for more information and more details and having that is very important. So to sum up here, we wanna make sure that we don't have answer validation and allow to skip selected at the same time. We want to have one or the other selected at one time. We want to make sure that we are qualifying people early on, a good welcome message, and then we can come through and have a quick look at the completion message. That looks fine. We can then choose whether or not we want to send people a promo code or to a website link, or we can go to the disqualification message and just edit that if we want to. Now, the other most important thing you can have in there is a privacy policy. Make sure you accept Meta's lead ads terms and make sure you include a privacy policy link that goes from your website or from a Google Doc with the privacy policy outline. It does not take long. Once you have done that, you can select the save and finish button. And there you go. Your template is ready and it has been done. You now know all of the things to look for when creating a Facebook Messenger lead campaign question sequence. I hope you found this video useful and if you do need professional help with this you can always send me an email on info at stuartmacadam.com or you can go to my website www.paidadvertisinghelp.com. Have a wonderful day everybody.